All right, let's give this a shot. So I've been practicing a lot. I am practicing, uh, I've been playing the Radlin Bog. So I've got the music beside me uh, in case I need it. And so this is what I've been doing. It's a part of March, um, uh, a little bit of March. And um, I did two weeks in April. I've been practicing almost every day. Um, lesson two, uh, one and two, and three, and starting lesson four. Um, I do sometimes look at the sheet music. Uh, actually, just the, the notes written on a paper, not necessarily the notes like this music which i don't know how to read very well like that one but i am trying i did print out the music so that if i do play with someone who plays guitar they can they have music as well because uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna take up guitar or not because i'm struggling with this one right now but i am playing along and so I will do my best and apologize for any bleeding ears. I'm still a beginner. I think it's only, it's, yeah, it's only been like a month I've been playing. So this is the quarantine instrument I have chosen to play because I have had it in my closet for over 20 years. I got it in Ireland when on my honeymoon and never really picked it up so I thought this would be the perfect time and now with the way the technology is there's YouTube videos I can find and I joined the online Academy of Irish music and I am following along on their website with all the music so many lessons uh, I find it so useful and we practice and practice and there are background music tracks that you can play along with and I can set it to <laughs> I'm setting it at 50% playing speed uh, polka uh, rattling bog when I've, I've practiced it at 50% speed and I'm a struggle at times to keep up but I'm trying and my goal is to get up to the 100% playing speed so it's, it's nice, uh, I get to practice, uh, I could do it over and over and over again, much to the chagrin of my family. Um, I, I am getting better, uh, their ears are not bleeding as much. I do struggle with uh, the high notes, I struggle sometimes with getting the D. See? I'm going to keep track uh, practicing because it's a lot of it's muscle memory and my muscles are just not used to it so I have to keep practicing and practicing I won't get any good if I don't keep practicing so here we go after all that rambling around um, oh I will say that I am enjoying the online Academy of Irish music's YouTube videos where they combine the videos of virtual students from around the world into one of one video and everybody's playing the same song and they show everybody uh, what country they're from and their name and so I'm, I'm really enjoying that part and then they also have uh, videos where there's just music and I, I enjoy Irish music and I find it very lively and lifts my spirits and so I'm really glad uh, to have those videos to brighten up my day and um, very toe tapping music. So I'm going to try here the Rattle and Bog and I'm going to try and do it from memory. Not so much as looking at the, the music notes because it is an uh, oral tradition, not oral, oral, so that you are supposed to be listening and playing like by ear. Uh, but there are notes 
if you want to follow along with the notes, you can. So I'm just going to put them as reference, but I'm not going to try and look at them so much. Um, and so here we go. notes. There we go. I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> 